Hello everyone, this video introduces how LoRa software controls C3200 to perform LoRa 1 LBT, which is listen before talk test. Execute LoRa software. If you have not completed the C3200 network connection and settings, please refer to the second video. Connect the C3200 with the PC. LBT, listen before talk, means that when the DOT sends data, it must first confirm which channels are idle and can be used. There are two functions of LBT. First, interference generator uses C3200 as an interference generator and LPT RF out simultaneously generates multi-channel interference signals and provides them to the DUT, simulating the conditions in which these channels are already in use. Second, the channel interference test function is that C3200 generates multi-channel signals to simulate the actual application situation. And then it will confirm whether the DUT can distinguish the idle channel among them and uses the channel to send signals back to C3200 for communications. First, let me introduce interference generator. It can generate up to eight channels of LoRa, FSK, or continuous wave signals to simulate the conditions of channels in use. First, select the signal type and set the related parameters, such as spreading factor, bandwidth of LoRa, or deviation and bit array when selecting FSK. Then set the channel parameters, including frequency, stepped frequency, that is channel space, and output power. Then set the channels to output signals to on to simulate the conditions in which these channels are in use. If the channel frequency setting has exceeded the LoRa frequency range, the frequency value will be displayed in red. TX output is to set the duration, that is the duration of the LPT out signal transmission. Click start. The C3200 will simultaneously transmit these multi-channel signals from the LPT RF out. The settings of the LPT signal will be displayed here in real time. Here you can see that channel 1, 3, 4, 5, 7 are set to on. Next is the channel interference test of C3200 to test the LPT function of DUT. In some regions, such as Japan and South Korea, communications products are required to have the LPT function. This function can test whether the DUT meets the LPT regulation. All the settings here are the same as the interference generator introduced earlier. Channel 1, 3, 4, 5, 7 are on, which are the channels in use for simulation, while channel 2, 6, 8 are idle. In the LoRa setting of the channel interference test, there is one more choice in setting of Rx. DUT must have the function of detecting which channels are idle and selecting one of the channels for communications, where Rx channel select 
must be the same as the channel selected by the DUT. In this example, DUT and C3200 are both set to channel 6. After selecting the channel, set the LoRa parameters. Trigger setting and symbol format setting can choose ASCII or hexadecimal. Trigger level is the level at which C3200 starts to capture DUT signal. Reference level is the measurement level setting of C3200. After setting, please note that relationship between DUT power, trigger level, reference level is trigger level less than DUT power less than reference level. Click trigger start to start the test. The test result is displayed here as previously set. Channels 1, 3, 4, 5, and 7 are set to be in use and the idle channels are 2, 6, and 8. Assuming that DUT presets channels 6 as the communication channel, and when the signal is sent, C3200 will use the RF port to detect whether a channel 6 frequency signal has been received and display the result in orange. The parameter measurement results of the LoRa signal of channel 6 will be displayed here. The received data will also be displayed here. The video of DUT LPT test ends here. Please continue to watch other videos. Thank you.